All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Arkham Knight figure, and the figure I'm showing you guys is Red Hood, and this is a GameStop exclusive. So, uh, right here, this is GameStop exclusive. So here's the box, and on the back shows other figures that are available for Series One. We have Batman. Well, Arkham Knight won't be out till uh, what's that? September, I think, and Harley Quinn, and then Scarecrow. Uh, so let's take a look at um, Arkham Knight. I mean, Red Hood. All right, and uh, here's a good look at Red Hood, and uh, he comes with uh, two pistols, one over here, one over here. And uh, uh, first of all, the, the first thing you notice is uh, the paint job. It's not the greatest. Uh, it's actually pretty bad for DC collectibles. Uh, usually their stuff are really clean, but uh, for some reason this one is not. Uh, the, the most noticeable would be on the jacket itself. You can see a lot of paint bleeds over here. Whoa, too close. Let's see if I closer and then focus there you go you can see a lot of paint bleeds uh, on the jacket itself uh, the back it's okay uh, still some fuzzy edges you can see some fuzzy edges here and there and then a little paint bleed not too bad on the back side but uh, the front uh, especially this side over here is really bad and then uh, the chest uh, I think this is meant to be um, painted on by Red Hood not quite sure but uh, it's not the greatest looking uh, paint job ever uh, yeah even the, the red on the on the on the jacket itself you can see some paint bleeds from the the gray it's running all over so that's kind of bad for DC collectibles and one thing I don't like about this hood is that uh, you can see it's actually a separate piece from the vest so uh, it will tear if you're uncareful with it, the hood itself uh, will tear right off. Uh, if you try to turn his head while you're holding down the hood itself, uh, actually, I kind of want to rip that whole uh, the hood off uh, just to see what, what it looks like without it. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to keep it as is. All right. So as far as articulation, uh, head is on the ball joint, and then shoulders are ball hinge. And there's a swivel joint around the, the bicep area, double jointed elbows, and a um, hinged swivel wrist. And then uh, the uh, abdominal area, there's a hinge joint. And the waist, there's a swivel joint. And ball jointed hips. Uh, cut joint around the thigh area. And double jointed knees. And uh, hinge ankles with a uh, low uh, pivot. Here I got a uh, I got red hood uh, uh, with uh, somewhat of a <clears throat> cool pose. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, you're not gonna be able to give him a whole lot of range of motion, uh, even though this figure has a lot of points of articulation. But uh, as far as the range goes, uh, not the greatest. Uh, yeah, double jointed elbow is good, uh, but uh, shoulders not so much. And the head is pretty restricted because of the hood. And then uh, abdominal, cr abdominal crunch is nice. And um, the hips, uh, they are ball jointed, but uh, it is uh, hindered uh, by how snug they are uh, to, the, to the crotch area. And, uh, double joint knees are good. And then the ankles are somewhat limited uh, because of the shin guard. And as far as his height, uh, this figure stands about 7 inches in height. And um, overall, I do like this figure. Uh, I really like the design of this figure. Um, uh, the character, especially the, the, the mask. It's a metallic red, which is kind of neat. And uh, the hood is a nice touch, but uh, they could have shaped it a little bit better. So it looks cooler, but instead it's just a round rubbery shape that's over his head um, um, but overall I uh, I guess uh, I don't know I'm half and half on this uh, personally I like the design that's why I like this figure and so for people who are picky about uh, paint 
uh, especially paint bleeds and stuff like that, I would not recommend this figure because there are a lot of problems with this figure. Uh, but overall, if you're a fan of the games and you like this character, then you're probably gonna get it. And uh, this, but this figure is gonna set you back uh, 25 bucks at the GameStop. And uh, yeah, I bought it in store, but you could also order him online. So he is he's still around. So. Yeah, and the game's coming out soon, so maybe you want to pick it up before the game comes out. So yeah, there you go. Uh, Red Hood from Arkham Knight. Thanks for watching.